we have the vertical line in the xy plane travels from left to right along the base of solid described in part c so what we have here is that purple line the vertical line that describes the base of the solid which is the gives us a cross section green cross sectional square that vertical line moves left and right okay to change the where the position of that square is going to be and by changing the position of the square we're going to change the area so the line vertical line is moving at a constant rate of seven units per second so it's going to the right at seven units per second and the question is asking find the rate of change of the area of the cross section above the vertical line so we want to find how the area changes and we want to find the rate at which is changing when x is at negative 0.5 okay so first of all we want to establish an expression for the area of that cross section which is s squared so we're going to take that length s and square it to get the square area so s squared is going to be the difference between the upper function and the lower function or the f of x minus the g, g of x or the red minus the blue and we're going to take that line and square it and that will give us the area of the square okay so that green area is the square that we're calculating and so we get this expression a of x is equal to uh, the side length squared okay now we're being asked to find the rate of change of the area okay so we want to find this is d a over d t so we need to generate a da by dt so i have an a of x function and i can differentiate this expression to get da over dx okay but when i do that i don't have a da by dt so i what i need to do then is to change this perspective and do this as a related rate problem so i'm going to find da by dt by first of all finding dA by dx, which I can do by differentiating that expression. And then I can generate the part that I want dx, I can, sorry, I can generate the dx by dt, which is already known. Okay, so that rate of seven units per second, maybe I'm just gonna make note of that here. So my seven units per second, this is dx by dt because that's what's moving left and right okay so that term then i'm just gonna color code that that becomes that dx by dt is a known quantity so to calculate da by dt i need to different i need to generate an expression for da by dx now, in this case, I don't really need an ex to differentiate this because what I can do is I can find the derivative at a uh, x equals 0.5, and that will I can do that right on the graphing calculator. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to graph the fun the area function, which is f of x minus g of x. So I'm going to graph this expression ln x plus 3 minus x4 plus 2x cubed and I'm going to square that because that the difference represents the side length squaring it represents the area and then from the graphing calculator I can just use a dy by dx function so when I type that into my calculator okay I'm going to put this in my graph and using the dy by dx function I'm going to find that value at 0.5 and that works out to be when I put that in my calculator here, it's going to be negative 1.324551. Okay, so that's the value of the, the slope. And this is a prime at negative 0.5. Okay, because that value is a prime. So negative 1.324551. Okay, so I have that value. So if I want to find the change in the area over the change in time, 
and I want to find that at x equals negative 0.5, I can find the a prime value at negative 0.5, which I've now established. I'm just going to highlight that. I've established that value here. I've established this value here. Okay, that's from my graphing calculator. And then I have been given the dx by dt. So dx by dt is 7 units per second, so times 7. Okay, replacing that value, a prime value, I'm going to end up with negative 1.324551 times 7. And that gives me a value of negative 9.2. Two seven one, and that's going to be square units per second. Okay, so there's my answer.